Hi, I'm Mark with At My Home, and today we're going to review the Wise Campan version 3. Now let's see what's this. That was easy. Oh, this is cool. It's a different kind of sticker that they have, like a little, little robot guy. And an eye backed Wise Campan V3. Now there's yet another sticker. Quick start guide. Okay, and here's the camera. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's a little different looking. Swivels, that's pretty neat. And I think that's it for the box. And some accessories here. We'll see what's in here. Cable. All right, power adapter. Uh, looks like some mounting screws and a big, a big screw too. I don't know what that's for. We'll see what that's about. Uh, but that's it. That's everything in there. And it's kind of neat because it actually swivels. It's because it's a Weiss campaign and it has the swivel base just like the other one. But boy, this is a different looking, looking setup. It looks like, uh, we're going to have, have some fun checking this thing out. Uh, kind of cool. It's got this heavy base on the bottom, which is kind of interesting. Must be the motor for, for swiveling it and all that. Um, so I'm going to go off and hook it up and let's see how it works. Okay, I've installed it using the Wise app, nice and easy. And now I want to check out in the kitchen how well the camera works indoors. It is an indoor outdoor camera, so let's check indoors. First thing I did was set up a bunch of waypoints that allows me to go ahead and do a pan scan. So you have to set the pan scan on. And then if we want to track somebody in the kitchen, you turn on track motion. So as you can see here, I'm going to enter the room and the camera is going to immediately pick me up and start tracking me. As a matter of fact, you can see that little box around it showing it. And it also detected motion right away and determined that it was a person. Now I'm hiding a little bit. I'm going to come back in the scene and the camera is going to pick up on me again and immediately start tracking me. Even if I crouch down, the camera will tilt downward to keep me in the field of view. And then, of course, as I stand up, it comes around again. Since this is an outdoor camera, I attach the mount to the arbor we have, attach the power cable, and attach the camera to the mount. Now that the mount is installed, let's go through a few settings. First off, detection settings. Here we turned on motion tagging, so you see that little box as it follows me around the room. And there is also something called detection zone. Now we don't use detection zone, but if you want to, it's available. We keep it turned off. So it uses the entire field of view. The other thing we did is turn down event recording. So we want to capture motion events and specifically because we're using cam plus is person, pet and vehicle detection. You can also select crying, meowing, barking, etc., as well for the smart detection. Advanced settings lets you set up certain key features. Now we use Cam Plus to record all our videos up into the cloud, but if you happen to have a micro SD card and you want to install it, you can. You can also set up motor controls, and motor controls is where you set the waypoints for when you want to do a pan scan. So you basically set four different waypoints, and then the camera will follow each of those four waypoints. The other thing that you can do here is set up night vision mode. We like it on auto. Advanced lets you set other key features. So for example, we hung the camera upside down, so you can rotate the image 180 degrees. You can also show the timestamp and you can tell it to record audio. To track motion outdoors, first you have to turn track motion on in the WISE interface. Once you've turned on the track motion, if you stand in front of the camera, it's gonna follow you around. So you can see I'm taking a picture of the camera as it tracks me. And as I move, it keeps me right in the center of view. And even if I bend down, it'll tilt to keep me in the field of view. As I stand up, it tilts back up. And then of course it rotates the other way to keep me in the frame. Now let's see how well the camera works both daytime and nighttime while we're scanning. So we turn on pan scan. In the lower picture, you see it's a nighttime picture and the upper picture is the daytime picture. On the left and the bottom, you're looking at the user interface in the WISE app and of course on the top is the camera itself. Now what's really important to notice is that the bottom picture 
I don't have any lights turned on except for some light coming in from the windows. And the pictures are excellent. They're really crystal clear. And certainly the top picture is crystal clear. So we really like the Wise Campan version 3. It works really well. Thank you for watching.